Uh, my name's Ralph Dartford. Um, I'm here to do this filming because two and a half years ago I was a resident here at, at Linwood. Um, I was in serious trouble through uh, extreme drug use, primarily cocaine and crack. Uh, I got myself into a terrible state. It's been going on for years secretly. I hid it from my family and my loved ones, colleagues. Um, and it got to the point, it was, a, it was a, the reason how I ended up here, on, the, on the, the day I ended up here was a Monday morning. I'd been out really in trouble all weekend and my partner then, her name's Jackie, she had been out all weekend herself and she came back on that Monday morning and saw me in the most horrific state, um, shaking, crying, and she said, I'm taking you somewhere. This is as much as I can remember of it. And she contacted this place and uh, within an hour, within an hour of, of me, of Jackie arriving home and seeing me, I was here in this in this place, I remember Graham was on duty here that, that, that morning and I was in a mess, he kind of sorted me out really, took my things from me and set, put me to my room and I kind of slept really badly. Jackie was in a terrible state, in, in tears and crying she, she, and she, what the hell was she doing putting me in a place like this? The, 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 the responsibility for someone to take that control, to make that intervention on someone is, is, a, is a tough thing to do. And I, I've learned that through subsequent experience, really. Uh, and I was taken to my room and I kind of fell asleep lightly, I didn't fall asleep deeply. And I kind of woke up and I was, when I woke up I didn't want to be here at all. I was upset, really upset to people I think I was probably aggressive and rude. I had none of the things I like around me. I didn't have my, my great reader uh, and, 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 I, and I write, so I didn't have any books around me. I didn't have a radio around me. I'm obsessed with radio. I have been ever since I was a child. And I kind of made a request, can I get these things? And Jackie came back late that day and brought these things in with me. And it was incredible, because I was more, slightly more conscious then of, where, of what was going on. It was incredibly emotional. Uh, and uh, I think Lynn, who kind of, is, kind of runs this place really, well, lots of people run this place, but she kind of has it oversees everything. She came into my room as well and kind of spoke to me. And I was still, I was very angry. And I was up here for a week in, into the, de this is the detox unit where we're in here. This is kind of one, one of the lounges. Uh, uh, and there was two or three of people up, here at the beginning and I did not want to associate with them at all. I didn't, I didn't uh, my immediate feeling was I'm better than you, I'm not, I'm not like you, you're, you're, you're an addict, I've just got a problem with drugs. I really didn't want to talk to anyone and for the first week here you kind of, you kind of just, you, you get a lot of time on your own to, to just be quiet and, and get these horrible drugs that are in your body out of you. I, did, I, you know, I just kept myself to myself and I was angry. I spent a lot of nights walking up and down the corridors even though I was, I was, kind, of I was kind of medicated to relax but I, was, I couldn't, I found it, uh, I, I didn't want to be here. I um, this was alien to me. But everyone here was really nice. I remember everyone here was so nice and, and kind and, and you, you know, and, and they wanted the best for you. The staff here were just amazing and I was quite rude to them and I'm, I hope I've made that up to them in, in the intervening couple of years since I've come back occasionally. And then in the second week you get, go downstairs which is kind of, that's where the real work starts, where you start examining why you're like this and, and admitting that you have a problem. And uh, I thought that was going to be a breeze. Oh yeah, just go chat to everyone. That's what I do. I'm, I'm, I talk. My word. Uh, it was busy down there. It was eight or nine of us. I was going to be down there for three weeks and it got busier as we went, went along. And like the first few days, 
God, I hated it. I was really, uh, I was like a naughty schoolboy. I wanted to disagree with everyone. Every one of the, the, what, the methods, of, you know, again, I thought I was better than everyone else here. I thought I was better than the therapist, to be honest. You're really arrogant, you know, and I kind of, after about two days, we were talking, I had to write something down. I had to write a little bit about my life story, and I had to, and I got read it out. And I was really angry about reading this out, because I had to tell the truth. Yeah, and I understood that, yeah, and I was crying, and I was really angry, and I was shouting at other people. And I think one of the therapists, she, and she took me aside during a coffee break, and she, and she said, don't leave, don't, don't leave here. I think it's going to be important for you because I was kind of I wasn't going to leave but I kind of wanted to leave and kind of after that the penny dropped it was it was it was uh, it was incredible actually I kind of she was I'm not going to name her name because I don't want to embarrass the therapist but she, she, she what she said was um, kind of pivotal really um, and my attitude changed straight away and I kind of dived in into what the process of examining yourself and, 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 and looking at yourself and talking to other residents here who, um, who weren't, who weren't inferior to me or I wasn't superior to them. We were all the same from many different walks of life, many, many stories, uh, many issues that took them to this, to this this point in their life where they were being so destructive and I, re I learned so much very very quickly and it, it took on other people's help who wanted to help me both the staff here and people who were res residents here and, and me and, and, and me them and you know what I ended up loving it I ended up it was probably the most it, well I know it for sure Without, without question, it was the most valuable three weeks I've ever had, had in, in, in my life. You know, um, uh, it, it was amazing. It was funny. It was deeply moving, deeply revealing about myself. And when it came time to leave, which is an interesting position to be in, because you're here for a certain amount of time, and you you you, you are wonderfully looked after by by people and you and your fellow residents who become your friends and, and they look out for you but then you have to let you have to leave and uh, a whole different set of choices open up to you and I left and I found it yeah I found it difficult and uh, I, I relapsed a couple of times horrifically. Every time I relapsed, I knew it was it was it wasn't like before where I was just like pff, pff, just just had some drugs and feel, feel rubbish. Well, it's, this time I felt all I felt didn't feel, I felt I felt I was really letting myself down and others. There were people I loved and, and I know people who loved me. I was letting them down, you know. I was uh, and it didn't happen. Then so it stopped happening. And it just carried on, and I took on all the things that I learned here about myself and how to recover and connected with other people. Um, I learned that, I learned, and it's kind of, it's well known in the, the recovery business or the good recovery, that the opposite of addiction is connection. It saved my life, Linwood. It's the most amazing place. It's the most amazing place. If you're struggling, if you're really, really, and you know you've got a, a problem, the value of coming and, and that kind of almost self, so I didn't really, I did surrender, I said, you know, I, I knew I needed help. But if, if, if you know you're really struggling and places like Linwood uh, will save your life if you, if you want your life saved, and that's the most important thing, you've got to really want to know and accept that something is wrong. I didn't, I knew something was wrong, I found it difficult to accept in, the, in my early days here. And then it all, it all changed. But if you struggle and you, you, you know you want help, really investigate coming to a place like this. It, it will save your life. And if you're the loved one or 
a relative or a partner or a child or a grown up and you know that someone you love is in real trouble and you may want to think about talking to a place like this to see what can what can be done. Once you're done here, once you've done, you know, you can you can you you can come back here anytime you want to to whether you want to stay here or just come back here for kind of for a day and be in, in the classes where you, and the seminars at which you and, and where you learn about how recovery, you learn about yourself and you get to talk to people who are exactly the same as you. Uh, as I think I said earlier, it's addiction across all its forms, whether it's alcohol, drugs, it doesn't matter if you're a millionaire, it doesn't matter if you're on the street, you all have got that thing that's in common, you, you're addicted to something, and it can be stopped. And places like this help you to stop it, whether you are struggling or you know someone who's struggling, you, and you know, that's, that's, it's long short, it's, it's an answer. It's an answer. Yeah.